Damn. Y'all feel that? A message to all you pseudo spitters. The sound is cool, but the trend I see is the truth is missing. I feel the flow is stupid. You claim that the music's different. I guess it's all opinion, depending on who was listening. What's the word, y'all? This is KTR underscore podcast, No Rose Podcast. You are now live and direct with Cinco, Big Harp, and J Bo himself. How are y'all doing today? Doing good on this gloomy Saturday. That, that it is. It, it, it was rain when I just pulled up. J Hart, how you feeling today, Big Harp? What's the oh, word? Man. You know, you know, you know. Living, surviving. I feel you. I feel <laughs> Making you. it happen. <laughs> Making it happen. You know, you know. Yes. Yes, you are. But now, everybody, y'all are now tuned in to our WWR, our wrestling weekly recap with Rambling Gambling. Because if it don't talk about dollars, it don't make sense. Make sure y'all go follow them on Twitter at AndGambler at A-N-D-G-A-M-B-L-I-N. And don't forget to also follow us on all social media platforms. Facebook and YouTube, Know the Roast Podcast, Twitter and Instagram, KTR underscore podcast, Know the Roast Podcast on every podcast platform, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Anchor, and Apple Podcasts, any platform you can find, we are on there because what Big Harv always says, pump those numbers. Pump those numbers. That's right. So, yeah. get those <laughs> numbers, numbers up. Do that. <laughs> Subscribe, follow anything just to share and spread the love for us. And before we get started, just recap. We have a special event coming up, the WWE Draft. Right. See, I'm, I'm, I'm I usually I'm not really just stiffy, you know, every time, you know, but I can't dress for the occasion. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm be the commissioner of, of our special draft. But before we get into that, we're gonna touch on Clash of Champions that happened this past weekend. Yeah, it was a great pay per view. I'm not even gonna lie about it. And we're just gonna go through the match results real quick before we go into our predictions for the WWE draft. So with that being said, match we had was the tag team champions of Shinsuke Nakamura and Cesaro. They defeated the Lucha House Party. The Intercontinental Title, the Triple Threat Ladder Match, was between Jeff Hardy, Sami Zayn, and AJ Styles. And Sami Zayn came out with the win, surprise, in a weird fashion, but it happened. That it worked. Now it's rare, yeah. you know, because we usually bet on these things, and we didn't this time around. But we did have predictions, and most of my predictions were true. <laughs> All right, I would so, have taken so both you, of your gonna, money. Gonna, this time, you, you know, so so, so, so you, you want to interrupt the show so you saying, can highlight yourself? I did. This, this, I did. This, this, I did want to do that. This is a week. They want to do that. There's no. Yeah. I, there's no. There I is. We. So one third of we would have been correct. All right. So let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Continue, my brother. <laughs> we had the Raw Women's Championship match between Oscar and Zelina. Oscar came out with W. United States title match. We had Bobby Lashley against Apollo Crews. Bobby Lashley won that one in good fashion. The Street Profits versus Andrade and Angel Garza. That had a weird ending, but the Street Profits came out with the uh, W. Um, Shouts out to Angel Garza. We hope you have a speed recovery and whatever injury you went through. Uh, SmackDown Women's title, Bailey versus Oscar. It was supposed to be Bailey versus Nikki Cross, but she was unable to perform due to certain circumstances, physical liabilities, whatever. So Oscar came out and had the match, and it ended in no disqualification, but no contest because it was the qualification because um, what's the name came out? Sasha Banks. It interrupted the match. Yeah. Here with a steel chair and a kendo stick. Beat the brakes off of him. But anyway, <laughs> going to the WWE <laughs> Championship match, <laughs> we had – our very own Randy Orton against Drew McIntyre, and unfortunately, Randy Orton lost because Drew McIntyre had help from four other men to beat the legend killer, but that's <laughs> another story. And last but not least, we had the Universal Championship match between Roman Reigns and Jay Uso, cousin versus cousin. And y'all said this was going to be a squash match, and Jay Uso actually put up some type of a fight. I'm not going to say a hell of a fight because he, he was getting beat in the beginning, but <laughs> I like they didn't just squash him throughout the whole match. They let, had him have a fighting chance, and he should have beat him, but, you know, there are people that got hit with the, <laughs> the low blow, and so that's what happened. And the Tribal Chief won because – Tribal Chief, yes. Other Uso, that, brother Uso <laughs> threw in the towel for his brother. So, with that being said, how do y'all feel about Clash of Champions? Clash of Champions was dope. Yeah, it, it it was dope. Great you have show. A lot of hair. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> care, <sorry. laughs> don't care. It's Saturday. I'm relaxing at home. Uh, good show all the way around. Honestly, uh, most champions defended, which is 
what should have happened because none of right. those champions was truly storyline wise needed to lose their belts. So, so that was good. Um, only a few things I'll highlight. Like I said, it was just a good wrestling show all the way around, you know, hard. If he did point out Sami Zayn, I, you know, I picked Hardy to win, but honestly how Sami Zayn won is pretty much the definition of his character, his current uh, gimmick right now. And I'm loving it. So I'm glad that worked out well. Uh, honestly, I didn't really care too much about how Drew McIntyre won the belt. I honestly don't think that was necessary. I it was get it. Yes, I'll say it, it for you. Yeah, but it, it <laughs> was. Your shit won. I, I, I feel no, your pain. No, I'm not saying I understand. that. I, I'm just saying they didn't need Big Show, Christian, HBK. They, they didn't need them to come in and interfere in the match. Drew McIntyre is just as strong, and Randy Orton didn't need the legend to come back and. You know, just help my. It that didn't really make. It made sense, but it just wasn't too necessary. That honestly just should have been a clean victory. But the last thing I'll say is the tribal chief came out and he represented. No, no single. He did not destroy or demolish I told Jay, you. but it was still I told a straight up beat down the majority of the match. Okay, six percent so, beat down. I, I I love what Roman Reigns is coming out as. This is what I've wanted for a while. I look forward to a nice, strong, dominant universal title reign. Cool. Big Horv. I agree, man. Uh, it was above average. It was better than I thought it was going to be going in. Um, I'm not going to say too much because I said on the last episode and I was correct. So, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I, I feel like Bobby Lashley needs to be more violent. Uh, the hurt business as a whole, I, I think I, they I need to start oh, yeah. hurting people. I really, I really need to see that. They're already, I feel like, the top faction. Um, not very many factions, but as far as uh, storyline wise, how they're being built and how they're being handled, I feel like they're the top faction right now. But they need to start putting the pain on folks. They yeah. really do. I feel um, they should have given. The um, N- Nikki Cross should have had a different, in my opinion, a different substitute. We've seen Oscar and and Bailey, God knows how many times. Mm-hmm. Didn't need to see it again. It's you know storyline wise, I understood why they did it, but they they could have did that, Get, giving somebody else an opportunity. I don't care who it was. Didn't have to see Oscar out there again. Uh, yeah, he wanted to see Lana fight. Opportunity, <laughs> not Lana. <laughs> Lana does not. That's not what I mean. All right, he it's wanted not. to see <laughs> Lana fight <laughs> Bailey for the title. Oh man, <laughs> opportunity. <laughs> anyway, multi man uh, ladder matches always deliver, so that was probably yeah. match of the night. I think uh, we can agree on that. Um, yeah. Always, always delivers. I'm glad Sami Zayn got it. He's been doing his thing. Um, He's really my favorite in that picture right now, so I'm glad he got it. Um, and of course, the the, the beatdown that wasn't a squash match. It was still pretty much a squash match. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> he got he got the he, he did what he had to do for it. You know, um, I was glad they let um, Us get some some offense in. He did he did need that because, like I said, if it wasn't for what they were trying to do with Roman, he would actually make a decent contender to the title. Right. Yeah, he actually right. does have the right stuff, and um. I agree about the Orton match as well. He shouldn't have won, of course. Um, we've seen this match a couple of times before. It was overbooked there in the end. They didn't have to do all that. It's always good to see Shawn Michaels. He can still throw that sweet chain music like nobody else. That's right. No super kick is better than his, and he in his 50s. But <laughs> it wasn't necessary. They could have they kept that. There was way too much going on. Yeah. Yes, I, I agree. Good, good show all, all around overall. Hopefully. Solid B. Solid B, B plus. It's a B, B plus. I, I, I agree with that. I can rock with that. Yeah, due to the limitations they have. But with that being said, I am looking forward to the next pay-per-view coming up, which will be Hell in a Cell. It's probably already two matches we can see coming up already. We already see Cousin versus Cousin Part 2. And we see probably Randy Orton versus Drew McIntyre Part 2. So we're going to see the outcomes of those matches. I am not mad at it. I love it. That's part look, three for, for McIntyre and Orton. Oh, yeah, Orton. part yeah, part 87 for Randy Orton and McIntyre. So, yeah, I'm sorry. They've been yeah, going out for a number of months. Yeah, I, I love the storyline, though, because Orton can carry a storyline. Yeah. It's not a bad storyline. I'll give yeah. you that. Yeah, Jay Uso's doing a hell of a job on the main event 
he, he is very surprising, but mm-hmm. I, it, it's it's good to see that because he's been conditioned to a tag team for a long time, and people will like see him as a tag team because he looked just like his brother. But yeah. this is really giving him an opportunity to look like a straight up singles competitor. This is good, it is, bro. Yeah. I did not realize how small he was. <laughs> appeared to Roman. I was like, it, right. I'm like, I thought, I'm like, I thought he had some size. I'm selling the Roman. I'm like, dude, this dude is like, slender. <laughs> they must have lost some weight over the years. But I, I didn't think he was that small compared In comparison to Reigns. To Roman, that's the thing. In yeah, because like he, Roman. he made him look like a the little cousin, little brother for real. <laughs> right. <laughs> but now this is the time that we have all been waiting for. The WWE draft. So, I'm going to ask y'all a couple questions. Yeah. Not really questions, but your predictions. So, who are three wrestlers that you think will stay on Monday Night Raw that are not champions? Uh, Three wrestlers that will stay? Yeah, so that's going to exclude, you know, Oscar, Street Profits, Drew McIntyre. Lashley. And Lashley. So, yeah. Okay. So, so who- I... I, I would say Big E is staying on SmackDown. I would say AJ is staying on SmackDown. I said Raw. Raw. Oh, Raw. <laughs> I was Raw. like, wait. Okay. We... <laughs> so, okay. So, no, you might as well continue with SmackDown now. We're on SmackDown. So you yeah, say... Okay, yeah. So, I'll say Big E will stay on SmackDown. AJ will stay on SmackDown. Uh, and, oof. Uh, oh, Bray. Bray is definitely staying on SmackDown. He'll need to go to Raw. Big hard. Who's staying on SmackDown? He don't need to, but I don't know as far as Bray goes. I do think um, East staying, and I think uh, Styles is a is a pretty safe bet. Uh, oof. <laughs> of course, he ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere for the foreseeable future. So yeah, I think, and that's uh, two for one. So neither one of them yeah. going. Oh, uh, let's see. Who's gonna stay on SmackDown? Who's gonna stay on SmackDown? Who's on SmackDown? <laughs> oh shoot, man. Okay. Hey. All right. Well, I'm the moderator, so I got answers. So anyway, we're gonna move <laughs> on. Who's getting <laughs> traded to SmackDown from Who's Raw? Getting to SmackDown. Who's okay. getting traded to SmackDown? I think Murphy is gonna get traded to SmackDown. Right now? Yeah. Storyline? I know he's in the middle of a storyline, but I think he'll mm. benefit from being on SmackDown because right now he's just a pushover on Raw. I know he's doing the whole thing with Aaliyah Mysterio. That may be like the only catalyst, but he'll benefit a whole lot more by being on SmackDown at this point. Okay. Uh, I would say Adam Cole going to get caught up and be drafted to SmackDown. He threw off my um, next question. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> he jumped, he jumping the gun. First, I asked him about Raw. He going, I'm going to do SmackDown. Now I'm no. asking SmackDown. He going to bring up NXT. You, you, no, but, but he want to run the show. Be to SmackDown. Hey. Adam Cole is going to SmackDown. Um, and then I would say either Ricochet or Apollo. One of those two is going to SmackDown. One of those two. Yeah, that's a good point. Big Hard, who do you think you'll get drafted to SmackDown? I think that um, I don't know which one, but I do think um, at least one of the the Lucha House Party members is gonna go. Yeah. Um, to SmackDown, he, they on SmackDown now. Yeah, Lucha House Party's on SmackDown. They just feuded with the WWE Tag Team Champions on SmackDown. Yeah, they did. Right, they were just wrestling last night with the Bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Otis, I think Otis gonna go. I said two SmackDown. Two SmackDown. You, I got my rosters mixed up. That's my. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Otis and Lucha and what part of Lucha House Party is, is going to go from Raw? <laughs> it's going to go to Raw. So, oh yeah, um, dang. Bl- blame J Bo because he messed his whole thing up. He did, so, yeah, he got me. He, he did. Got me you, 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 you got me going. Right, you no, messed up everything. Not. I know Owens going to stay. Owens is on Raw. Yes. Yeah. Yes, he's on yeah, Raw. He's going to stay on Raw. That's not the question. Uh, all right, uh, oh, my God. Think, you can't follow think, rules, I'm, man. I'm trying to, no, that's not what's happening right now. I'm getting my <laughs> roster straight, all right? Give me give me, give me, me some time here. Um, I don't think Buddy Murphy's going to go. I could see the Mysterios. I think they should both go. I think they need to cut that storyline and, and send both of them 
I honestly think both of them should go. Uh, yeah. Don't know. Okay, so who should go to Raw? I don't know. Who's All right, let's do that. Stop let's talk me about questions. Who who should who should go to Raw? We're who's just gonna going leave to... that question. I'm not gonna answer okay. Who should Let... go to Raw? Okay, who's going to Raw? I think Braun is going to Raw. I can see that because he's already on Raw Underground, so I can picture that. I don't think Nikki has anything left to do on SmackDown, so I think she's going to Raw. Okay. And I would say uh, they need to put Sheamus on Raw. They mm-hmm. hyped him up to be this tough dude, and then he's just been in limbo on SmackDown. So I think he need to go to Raw, too. Okay. Big Horn, who should go to Raw? You already <laughs> said Otis and Lucha House Party. So who's your third option? Who should go to Raw? Monday Night Why Raw. Why you disrespecting me, man? I'm, 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 I'm helping y'all. I don't appreciate y'all, it. Y'all, everybody's messing up. This, this is not even more time. This, that's, Otis. Okay. Said Otis and one of the house party members. And Let's who's see. number three? Let's see. To Raw. I think um, they're going to send one of the women. Who they going to send? Was... I think Nikki, they going to take her. You got a problem? You got a problem with me thinking of the women now? <laughs> no, I, honestly, you said they're going to take a woman. So I'm like, who's the woman going to be? I was there going to a woman's going to get drafted. Myself. <laughs> I said that myself. Um, Lacey, I think Lacey going to raw. Mm. Okay, that's good. okay, that's fair. I feel like she always felt like she uh, belonged on Raw more. She her her whole little persona. Yeah. Fits cool. more on Monday Night Raw than SmackDown. All right. And last question. Who from NXT will get drafted to a show? And which show would that be? Jay Barry <laughs> answered this question and messed it up for us. So no. like, big hard. No. <laughs> big hard. We're going to go with you first since somebody <laughs> can't follow directions. So from NXT, <laughs> <laughs> who's going to get drafted to the main event picture? Ah. Uh. Given what they're doing with uh with, with with retribution, which I feel like is dying out, um, I don't see them bringing up too many more people. Maybe um, maybe my guy, uh, Jesus Christ, who's been injured for a while. What is what's your name, man? Goldie. What's my guy? Tommaso, Tommaso Champa. Tommaso Champa. I was thinking that might yeah. be right now too, actually. Yeah, Tommaso Champa. That's my guess because he, he's been going for a while. I feel like if, if there's any time for him to come in and make an impact, this would be a good time. Mm-hmm. I'm J-Bow. glad he's not part of retribution like I thought. <laughs> right. <laughs> <Man. laughs> yeah. J-Bow, who you got? I said Adam Cole to SmackDown. I'm also going to say Velveteen as well. Ooh. I don't know to SmackDown or Raw. Hey, look, I know, but take a look. They put him in this random feud with Koshida right now. That's honestly just a filler match. I think they're just doing this to keep Velveteen in our minds and then push him up to the main roster. So, you I know, he's been it. out for a while with his issue. <laughs> I, I, I think it's... I, mean, it's I, 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 I can see that. That's, he was the first name to pop in my head, but I don't I don't want him to get moved up because they're going to do him so dirty on the main roster. So I, didn't I think, agree yeah. one I million he percent. Be, he has a good chance. Yeah. 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 I'm going with Undisputed Era. The whole group? Yep, the whole group. Oh, girl. the whole mm. group. So you're saying that Kyle's going to lose? Where do you think they're going to go? Yeah, he, he's losing to Finn Balor. <laughs> just, I'm visit this, yeah. Because I, okay. I, I, nothing, nothing against Kyle O'Reilly. He cool and everything. But, like, you, you, it's not the time to break that up because they'll be so successful together if they all four got moved up at the same time. Because you break them up. Only person I see being successful for real is Adam Cole. Adam Cole. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I man. think Adam Cole, not necessarily needs him, but it would really help if he had a faction with it. It helps his, his persona. Yeah, exactly. It, it, helps, it, 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 it helps out a lot. And like I just I really don't see it see them breaking that up right now. And Kyle O'Reilly had just uh started a singles run when he got hired by WWE. He had just won a world title on the indie scene after breaking up with um 
Uh, What's Bobby. The guy's name? Yep, yep. Bobby Fish. Fish. Mm-hmm. When they yeah. were a Red Dragon, they had just broke up. He had won the title over where he was. So we really don't know what he can do by himself. But I agree. I feel like he he don't really have a good um, singles title run, or at least singles world title run on the indie scene. I don't really think he can handle it in, uh, in uh, WWE. Colorado has he can a, wrestle. Yeah, he, he can he, wrestle. I feel like he could he like, could be a good singles performer, you know. By he, performer, he, yeah. He got hell of charisma and personality and everything. You know, yeah, like that's, I, that's what I'm be, worried about. I everybody, you know, I don't want them the main roster like to stir it up the wrong way and make him try to be like too much of a funny guy. But yeah, but like I said, <laughs> undisputed yeah. air needs to stay together at the yep. end of the day. I see Vince taking the air guitar thing and running that <laughs> into the ground. <laughs> Ooh, man, please, yeah, yeah, don't, don't do that. that makes sense. And you gotta keep you gotta keep that interest too, because I, I love that. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> but that is all the time we have for our WWR Wrestling Weekly recap. Be sure to follow, subscribe us on all social media platforms. Like I said before, KTR underscore podcast. Twitter, Instagram, Know the Roads Podcast, YouTube, Facebook, Know the Roads Podcast on every podcast platform. Google Podcasts, Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, every podcast platform. We are on there. If I haven't named it and you got it, we probably on there too. (laughs) Just type in Know the Ropes Podcast. That's all you got to do. And be sure to follow and gambling, rambling gambling sports network on Twitter at a n d g a m b l i n. Because if don't talk about dollars, it don't make sense. This is your WWR Wrestling Weekly recap, and we are out. Pump those numbers.